Lam the sham. That's what President Trump calls the young Democrat trying to cause a political earthquake in battleground Pennsylvania. If Connor Lamb wins tomorrow's special election for a House seat, many will say it's a direct repudiation of the president, as much as a loss for our next guest, trying to hold on to what has been a GOP stronghold in Western PA. Joining us now is Rick Saccone. He's a candidate for Congress in Pennsylvania, of course. And Mr. Saccone, we appreciate you joining us tonight, but I also want to jump right in here. President Trump was in the district over the weekend, had a rousing rally, if you will. He carried this district by about 20 points. Uh, people in your state in that district are seeing bigger paychecks because of the tax cut. Uh, this tariff now that he's pushing for aluminum and steel uh, may actually bring jobs back to the district. So I have to ask you, why do the polls suggest you're losing? Well, the polls, uh, you know, this is an open seat, and uh, you could expect we have national level interest, and uh, so you can expect things to tighten up. Uh, you know, they haven't had a, um, a seat like this open in the last 16 years, I think, in this district. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's natural as a political scientist, you would, you would, you would uh, naturally assume that you know there'll be a lot of interest, and a lot of money will pour in, and it will, it will cause the race to be tight. Well, the fight is on for those union voters who went Trump in 2016, helped him win battleground Pennsylvania. Some of them now seem to be tilting toward the Democrat, Connor Lamb. And I want to ask you, among other things, he's attacking you, Connor Lamb, by saying you don't support pension rights. You're not doing enough for pensions. This is a big issue for workers in the district. Yes, and that's a, that's the union leadership misinformation, especially among the coal miners union. Uh, I, I do support trying to save that pension. Uh, there's a bill clogged up in Congress, and I've always supported trying to move that through. The union leadership has, has put out that misinformation over and over. Remember, this is the same union leadership that supported President Obama, who was trying to kill the coal miners, mm -hmm. the coal industry, and, and supported Hillary Clinton, who definitely wanted to kill the coal industry. Now they support my opponent. So I just uh, tell the rank and file members once again, come out yeah. for me. I've always supported you have always been with you. Mr. Saccone, you mentioned Hillary Clinton. She gave a speech in the last few days where she said that voters in the heartland, voters in battleground states like Pennsylvania, uh, went with Donald Trump because, quote, I won places that are optimistic, diverse, dynamic, in uh, moving forward, whereas Make America Great Again, she says, was looking backwards. And she went on to say that voters in the heartland who went Trump don't like black people getting rights and don't like women getting jobs. What do you say to that? Wow, who would who would care what Hillary Clinton says at this point? I mean, there's, is there any credibility there at all? And of course, that's a bunch of nonsense. And we have a very diverse district, and uh, from uh, rural to, to suburban, and uh, all kinds of makeup. And, and we have all, uh, it's a big tent in the Republican Party. We have people from from every demographic supporting us, and uh, uh, we're, we're concentrated on getting them out to vote and winning this race tomorrow. Uh, last question, Mr. Sacone. I put out on Twitter I was going to be interview, view, uh, interviewing you, and a lot of Republican voters. Are nervous about whether or not you can carry this district, which is, as you said, traditionally Republican. And so, my last question is in the last 24 hours, what are you going to do to fire up that Trump voter from 2016 to turn out for you in these last 24 hours? Wow, we just finished a rally with Donald Trump Jr. The, the enthusiasm was very high. We're coming off the rally with President Trump. Enthusiasm across the district is great. Everywhere I go, I, I was just at an Eaton Park restaurant, and uh, people were coming up to me. It was like a mob scene, wanting to take pictures, and they're all going out to vote tomorrow. I stopped at a, at a, at a local store, and the same kind of thing happened. There's so a lot of enthusiasm on our side. People are ready to go out and vote, and we're going to bring this home. All right, Mr. Saccone, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Uh, good luck uh, in the days ahead. We're going to say the same to the Democrats uh, as they fight it out for this race. A lot of people looking at it as a bellwether. We'll see where it all turns out. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.